Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be given to you as well. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sky Anjanae. If you are new here and stick around, you're gonna like it here. Scratch that. You're gonna love it here, okay? Welcome to 12 Days of Christmas. This is day three of my 12 Days of Christmas and we're about to do this beautiful makeup look. It's giving very much Christmas vibe. So, without further ado, let's get into this look, okay? Okay, so I'm loving the shape of these right now. I always make sure that I love my shape before I even go in and you know, Cut these brows and make them crisp and sharp. So I'm like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. And you already know I'm using my P. Louise base to cut my brows and to base my eyeshadow. Why did I just say it like that? That sounded real country. Eyeshadow. <laughs> So I'm going to be going in with my matte look palette from the crayon case. I'm going to be using this really, really bright red right there. Oh, where is it? Right here. And yeah, I'm going to smoke that out with a little bit of brown. You'll see it as it comes together. Ooh, this is very, very bright. It's coming out a lot brighter on camera, which I'm not too mad at. It looks a little slightly like a highlighter pink to me, but this is really a true red, like a true primary color red. And this is really the only color I'm going to add on my lid. And I'm really trying to pack it on so I get as much pigment as possible, especially for when I add the rhinestone. I'm sorry if you all see any flickering. One of the lights in my room it has a shortage or something, and I have yet to ask my boyfriend or my dad to fix that for me. So, I apologize, but I am packing this color onto this lid. And I want to bring it in um, in my inner corner a little bit more because I am adding the rhinestone. So, I want the color, the red color from the eyeshadow to reflect in the rhinestone. So, it just... <laughs> I see it in my head and it's cute. It's cute, so just keep it. Stay with me, homegirl. Like, stay with me to the end. <laughs> I am gonna take more of a flesh color brow just to blur out that line so it's not so harsh. Blending is everything, especially when it comes, see like, this look is starting to look better already. It's not so much red and then skin, <laughs> it's, it's not like that. That's why you always want to make sure you throw on a transition color. But I'm not done with this eye. If you watch my How to Blend Eyeshadow Color video, you know that 
blending eyeshadow is a lot of it's real tedious so you have to go back and forth that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in and really build these colors up then i will be right back okay so i think i'm gonna stop right here with the eyeshadow and go ahead and do my face makeup because i'm doing like a green under eye and i obviously i'm gonna write at the rhinestones last so yeah let's do that <laughs> So I don't think I'm going to bake. I think I'm just going to set with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't know. I just don't feel like baking because I'm not going to be wearing my makeup all day. So, you know, <laughs> I just take my beauty blender, that same beauty blender I use to press out, press out, <laughs> blend out of my concealer. I'm going to use that to set my powder. Look at how flawless this finish is. Like, when you do a comparison, flawless, eh. flawless, eh. flawless. Oh, makeup really looks crazy during the process. Like, as you're doing your makeup, makeup looks so crazy. But once you finish, it's like art. <laughs> Not like art, it is art. And I'm gonna throw on my bronzer and we go finish this eye, which I'm so excited. I don't think I have to tell you, but I'm using my Juvia's Place bronzer. My homegirls know. And if you don't know, that just means you're not you're not a homegirl yet. So go watch more videos. Leave me some comments. And let's become homegirls. Sometimes I feel like I lay it on too thick with the bronzer. But I just be trying to live, y'all. And I get text messages. <laughs> no man, that's my Amazon order. It's on its way. 
I hate grocery shopping, so I, I do. Amazon groceries. What was I saying? Sometimes I go real heavy on the bronzer, but I like to look like a goddess. And bronzer makes me feel like a goddess. Feel and look like a goddess, so. Hey, if I was to leave my makeup like this, I would look crazy. That's why I said, you gotta trust the process when it comes to makeup. <laughs> now for my under eye, I'm gonna be using a palette from a black owned brand called Lux, Lux Glow Cosmetics. First of all, look at this packaging. It's giving Bratz doll and it's giving bad and bougie. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this darker green as like my base color. I'm gonna use this green on top of it. So we have a nice little shimmer going on. I'm gonna use just an eensy, wincy, wincy, tiny little bit of my white P. Louise base just so we can make this eyeshadow pop a little bit more, but just a little bit. That's how this is looking. I'm trying to. I'm really trying to take my time with this because I have a tendency to rush and that'll just that just messes everything up. So Y'all It's these eye creases that be getting me like can I just live? Can I live? Take that red that I use right there to just bring those two together almost. But remember, we're putting rhinestones here and here, so. I forgot how much an under eye color really makes the eye pop, because baby, look at her. I'm gonna be using my blush from my crayon, well blush, my eyeshadow from the crayon case. I already added some blush. But I feel like I want to go a little bit more, a little rosier. Oof, this is actually so much. And I think it looks so crazy right now because I don't have on any lashes. I don't have on a lip. So it's just like a lot going on. But we go down the back. We go Oof. Ooh, we go down this back a lot, actually. <laughs> So what I am going to do, because that was a whole lot, I am going to bake just a smidge, not for long. I actually feel like I put too much powder on this side, so we're going to try to move that around. At this point, I did a baking for the heck of it. So while that's doing that, we're gonna line these lips. I feel like I wanna do red, but I also feel like red is gonna be a lot. So we're probably gonna go with the new. You can never go wrong with the new lip. And I already am gonna have, so I have so much going on with the eyes anyway. We'll tone it down with the lip. And for whatever reason, everybody is out of stock of the Juvia's Place lip liner that I use. So, yeah. I'm using my Film Noir lipstick for MAC.
already coming together. I don't even have a full lip, but it's coming together. It is. Told you, you gotta trust the process with makeup because sometimes, look, a lot of times actually, if you're doing anything but a natural, like everyday type of glam, you're gonna look crazy until the product, the, until you get done with the finished art piece. Something about a nude. Mm. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part, which is adding the rhinestones. They're going to do like assorted sizes, so I want to start in here and curve upward. But I also want them to like curve outwards like this. You'll get it. When I do it, it'll make more sense. Just wait and see. I just want to fill in and make a little fuller here and then we'll come back to the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the lights now so y'all can actually see how this is sparkling, baby. Yeah. So for this one, I'm gonna curve it outwards like this. So I see it in my head. I see it in my head and so far it's looking the way I pictured it. So I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna do the other eye. Then I'll come back with, and we're gonna do lashes, and then we're almost done with this look. Almost, so. BRB. I'm better than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Love this stuff, you know. I won't say it lives up to its name, but you know, it's some good stuff. Some good stuff. Lashes make the look like, come on now, come on now. Let me not say lashes make the look. Lashes complete the look, okay, for being completely honest. I'm just like feeling this look so much. It is giving Christmas with a little razzle dazzle red and green. It's giving very much Christmas vibes. Everything for my 12 days of Christmas is going to be Christmas related, holiday related. And I completely forgot to film my ending. So <laughs> here's the voiceover. Thank you all so much if you made it all to the end of this video. Leave me a like, a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying 12 days of Christmas and I will see you tomorrow for day four. Bye.